How are we all doing? Today we're going to be doing a Panda Buy tutorial, step by step how to order and get a haul delivered to your house. So the first thing you want to do is you want to sign up for Panda Buy, obviously. I'll leave a sign up link in the description. All you have to do is just click on it, go to the top right and sign up. Once you've signed up, you want to find items that you want to order. I made a video on how to find items in the past, but for the sake of the video, we're just going to be using my spreadsheet. So just scroll in the spreadsheet and find whatever item you want. For this video, we're going to be using the Yeezy Gap hoodie, so I'm just going to click on the link. It's going to redirect me to Pandabai. Now one thing to note when using Pandabai is all the currency is in Chinese Yuan. But if you want USD, all you have to do is go to the top right, right here, and then click Currency, USD, and then press OK. And it'll give you like a rough estimate of how much it is in USD. So I mean 20 bucks US for a Yeezy Gap hoodie, that's pretty good. Now you're going to want to choose your color and then your size. One thing to note when using Panda Buy is for the sizing, I usually like to go up one just because Chinese sizing is a little smaller than American sizing. So, so I want this brown hoodie in a size extra large. So I'm going to click brown, extra large, and then we're going to scroll down and see where it says agreed right here. You're going to have to click on that box and press add to cart. So now the item is added to my cart along with a bunch of other items that I also want. I'm just going to repeat that process with a different item one more time so you guys know what to do. So here we have the $5 Goliard card holder. I like the way the black one looks, so I'm just going to click black, scroll down, hit agreed, and then press add to cart. So you're just going to repeat that process and add all the items you want until you're happy with your haul. Now if you want to check out your cart, just go to the cart and then press cart checkout. So now that you're on the cart page, you're going to want to click on all the items that you want to submit your order on. For now, I just want this necklace, so I'm going to click it and then press submit. It'll bring you to a confirm order page. You're going to select your destination country. Press a red and agreed, and then submit your order. Okay, now that you've submitted your order, you're going to have to pay. You can either do this by topping up your balance or by PayPal. I've never used Stripe, Credit Card, or Union Pay. I definitely just recommend these two. But if you want to experiment with using your credit card, then go for it. The easiest way I find is just to use PayPal, and then it'll redirect you to a PayPal page where you can just pay. But since I already have some money in my balance, I'm going to use that and press confirm payment. Now the payment is completed and the seller will send the item to my Panda Buy warehouse. It usually takes around a week for items to arrive to the warehouse. So I'll see you guys in a week. Okay, so around five days after I submitted my order and bought the item, the item has now arrived to my warehouse. When the item is in your warehouse, it means it is ready to ship. Here you can see the quantity, the weight, and the volume of the item. You especially want to be looking at the weight because this will help you estimate how much your shipping is going to be. There's also a one week window where you can either return or exchange your item if you don't like how it looks. All you have to do is press return slash exchange and fill this out. And the returns are generally free, so it's a nice feature. You should also just glance through the QCs to make sure you like how the item looks. Now I only have one item in my warehouse, I'm going to order more, but for the sake of the video I'm just going to ship this one out. One thing to note though is you should never ship singular items out with Pandabuy. You should always ship multiple out at one time because then they'll all come in one big package, hence the Panda Buy hauls. If you do one item at a time, you're just going to be overpaying on shipping. It's not worth it. But anyways, click the item, select your destination country, mine's Canada, and then press submit. This is a submit package form. The first thing you're going to do is add your address. I mean, I'm not going to put my actual address in here because I don't really want to dox myself, but it follows the exact same format as any other address filling form. Except for this address label, you don't have to fill this out, you can just do like house. Or if you live in an apartment, just do like apartment. So yeah, just fill in your address and pr press confirm. So here it says remove tag, I'm not going to bother doing it because I don't really see any point in doing so. But for removing packaging, removing packaging can make a huge difference in your Panda Buy shipping price. Especially for shoe boxes, you always want to be removing the packaging. Unless you really want the shoe box, it's just not worth it. Shoe boxes take up a lot of volumetric weight, meaning it's going to take up a lot of space in your package and it's going to be a lot more expensive. So I definitely recommend removing the packaging for shoe boxes. Again, you can't see it here, but it'll just say remove packaging. It'll look exactly like this one and then you can just click it. Here you're going to have your packing methods. I definitely recommend carton box over simple packaging. When you ship a hollow with simple packaging, it looks like a bomb and gets delivered to your front door. I've done it before. I wouldn't recommend it. For packaging details, there's a few things you can do. Here we have the inflatable shoe tree. This is like a new feature. This wasn't here before. Just so the shoe doesn't get crushed during transit, they'll put this little inflatable shoe tree inside, which will help maintain the shape of the shoe. They also have bubble wrap. I don't really use it too much. Same with vacuum sealed bag. I mean, like if you want to, you can use it. Moisture bag. I've never used that either. Stretch film. I haven't used that. The one that I really recommend is corner protection. It's only 10 yuan. It'll make sure that the corners of your package will stay safe during transit. 
Corner protection paired with parcel reinforcement will make sure that your package stays super safe during transit and nothing will get damaged. Okay, so if you scroll down a bit, it'll show you all the shipping methods that are available for your package. So here's a couple options like HK UPS, Canada PD Line B, Canada PD Line, and more. For Canada, I definitely recommend Canada PD Line B. Last time I ordered with Canada PD Line B, my package came in like less than 10 days. So it's super reliable and it's relatively cost efficient, which is really nice. For the US, I'd recommend GD EMS, and if you need help with any Panda Buy shipping stuff, just make sure to join my Discord and I'll help you out. But anyways, you're going to choose your shipping line, so I'm going to choose Canada PD Line B. Okay, so once you click on your shipping method, you're going to have to declare your package. For the declare method, just press system declare, it'll do it for you, but for the value, you have to put in the value. I'm shipping to Canada, so it's $14 flat for me. If you're confused on what declaration is, I've done a whole video on how to declare on PandaBuy, so just go watch that. But generally, the rule is $12 per kilogram for the US, and then for Canada, it's $14 flat. Here you can also buy package insurance, it's like 3% of what your haul is worth. And if your haul is lost or seized during transit, then you'll get all your money back. Not just for shipping, but also for the product cost. So, if you're like really stressing about getting seized, then I'd recommend just buying package insurance. But anyways, I'm not doing that, so we're just going to click this button that says reminder, please note the risk before submitting. Here you can also put in a discount code. Pandabuy always has a 5% discount code. The, the discount code updates each month, but the one for October is don't seize 5. So you just click that and you get like 5% off your shipping price, which is nice. So once you're ready to submit, all you have to do is press submit parcel. Now here you'll get redirected to a Pandabuy payment page. This is the same deal as before, like when you're buying your items, you're going to just either top up your balance or just pay with PayPal. And then press confirm payment. Once you've submitted your package, it should appear under the parcels tab on Pandabuy. In a few days, they'll give you the volume and then they'll give you a tracking number for your package. I'm just going to cancel this package because I don't want to ship out one item. But yeah, that's how you do a Pandabuy haul. Again, this was just a quick little tutorial. If you need additional help, please feel free to join my Discord and just ask any questions that need to be asked. I will help you. I've also made dozens of other Panda Buy related content, so go check those out. Please like and subscribe if the video helped you at all. Thank you for watching and have a good day.